Hey guys, Alicia here. I wanted to talk about what to do when you have too many ideas about what to sell on Etsy. I know it can be overwhelming because there are so many niches that you can go into and you might be good at doing so many different things, but you're just not sure where to go and you feel overwhelmed. So that's why I have my actual YouTube channel pulled up and I wanted to go back and reflect on some things that I have taught and also explain why I taught those things and then how you should use that information. Before I get into the video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading about how to make money online. So my channel is all about making money online. I know I have been focused on Etsy for a while, but I really am going to be branching out on other ways to make money online because Etsy is not the only way. Okay, so, you know, I started out with Etsy because Etsy is such a huge place. There are so many things that you can sell. I have been focusing on instant downloads things that you do not have to like make a product and ship these are things that you can do right online without having to ship anything so you know I started out back here in um, basically May and I started talking about um, how to easily design shirts for print-on-demand um, products for, and this was for a beginner level. Um, I was talking about how to add mock-ups to your, your Etsy and Printful. If you were using Printful, Printify, whatever, print on demand. So I touched base on integrating your Etsy shop with um, a print on demand company. So I was doing that. I also talked about how to make and sell printables on Etsy, which is basically wall art. Um, I talked about how to make and sell mock-up photos on Etsy. Um, SVG files. This video alone has gotten almost 3,000 3, views. And the, I will be honest, the term or the, the word SVG is searched so many times online. It's very popular and it became popular when the Cricut vinyl cutter came out and the silhouette and people really started getting into vinyl cutting. So people will get on Etsy and they will purchase SVG files so that they can cut them out and use them for if they want to make a shirt, you know, whatever it is that, you know, they want to put that on, they can use the SVG file. I talked about creating watermarks um, and also I have a video on how to upload your digital files to Etsy and I'm gonna go uh, back a page I'm just reflecting here on all these things that I have kind of gone into um, I also have a video on you know how to make graphics and where to get graphics when you are not a graphic designer how to make awesome Etsy titles for your listings um, and then I started going into fundamentals on things like how to make gold foil font you know without Photoshop and how to make a glitter font I showed you how to make your very own watercolor blobs so that you do not have to purchase them and I started on digital papers how to make and sell digital chevron paper um, I've gone on how to make printable quotes with Canva you know how to start a mock-up photography business um, I have gotten into the digital papers how to make and sell digital papers um, I did another one on how to design and make SVG files I did a second one on 
that how to distress text. I've done um, how to add SVG files to a mock-up photo. Um, and I'm sorry for the long-winded here. I'm just going into all of the things that I have been teaching. Okay, so I noticed that I really even started improving myself. I also showed you how to make and sell your own glitter paper without Photoshop. How to start a logo business. Um, you know, how to make and sell printable certificates on Etsy. How to curve text, which is a fundamental item. How to create ombre text. How to make and sell calendars and planners. Um, I even showed, you know, how to add zip folders to your Etsy instant downloads whenever you have too many items. Um, how to make rose gold foil logos and how to create and sell logos for Etsy. Um, and I have several logo texts, how to make watercolor wreath logos, how to make and sell business cards. Um, there are just so many things I have gone over here and I've noticed that my videos started to improve every, you know, each and every time that I upload a video. Not all videos were as great as, you know, not all of them are going to be as great as some. You know, so I have also talked about, you know, other ways to, to make and sell digital paper. I've shown several different ways. This one was rustic digital paper. This one was how to make and sell wedding invitations. Um, let's see here. This was how to make and sell SVGs and other file types in theme bundles. So then I started on theme bundles. Um, let's see, how to make and sell wedding invitations and theme bundles, meaning that you would make the save the date, the wedding invitation, and the thank you card all in a bundle, which makes it more attractive because whoever's going to be purchasing that probably wants to purchase it in a bundle. Um, I also did how to make and sell watercolor wreaths. Um, how to make and sell design elements on Etsy. And let's see here. Um, I even did how to make and sell farmhouse printables on Etsy. Farmhouse is a very popular trend right now. Um, and then I did how to make and sell wedding stationery on Etsy. The, this one was the example of table numbers. I did nursery wall art. Um, I did some labels, Christmas labels, and I probably need to do a video because I do not like to do seasonal items too much, just occasionally. Um, how to make chalkboard paper, that's another, you know, um, how to make and sell monogram wall art. You know, and I did a couple of examples on how to do this, and then um, how to make and sell monograms in different file types. Um, I also showed you how to add, you know, whatever you design, how to design and print a folded card. I did do a video on legitimate work at home opportunities because my YouTube niche is actually how to make money online. It's not really Etsy. I know I've been focused on Etsy, but it's really not Etsy. It's how to make money online. So here soon I'm going to be getting into more ways to make money online. You know, how to make and sell photo greeting cards on Etsy. I have given so many options that it's probably left everyone completely overwhelmed. Now, when you have too many ideas, you need to pick maybe one or two that you are passionate about and that you truly enjoy doing. The only thing that my videos have done, I have taught the fundamentals that are necessary in order to start your own online business. So it doesn't mean that you have to do, you know, every single one of the ideas that I have given here. So you, you know, is what you should do is just take some quiet time, 
and maybe jot down some ideas that you are most interested in doing. So if you're interested in making wall art printables and maybe you're interested in starting um, a business or logo uh, um, branding business on Etsy, you could do that. And then is what you want to do is you want to become an expert in that area. Okay, so I'm back here on Etsy and I my last video that I did, and if you did not see it, I will link it in the description below. It is about niching down your Etsy shop. So let's just type in SVG right here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here because I don't want anyone to be overwhelmed or, you know, anything like that at all. So when we, we look here, we're seeing here this person is a bestseller or this item is a bestseller and they have lots of sales here and so do they. So I'll click on, let me find... one here that okay so I'm clicking on this right here they have 2708 reviews and they have all of these SVG files here that you know are watermarked beautifully so as what this person has done is they have become an expert in their area. They literally have Dr. Buddha's cut files. And once again, I usually don't show anyone's Etsy store because that's really like free advertising. But I'm, I'm using this for teaching purposes, okay? So they've got all of these things that you can purchase now. They have become an expert in this niche. Okay, they don't sell anything different. And this is what I'm talking about. When you have too many ideas, maybe jot down just a few things that you're interested in and, you know, become an expert in that area. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to do... Um, logo design. Okay, so once again, this is where you would want to become an expert in your area. Okay, so I am going to just click on one that has a whole lot of... Okay, Logo Lane. Okay, so they have niched their store down completely to logo design, custom logo design, logo design photo or photography logo design, business logo design, branding. Okay, so they have completely made a brand for themselves just on designing logos. So let's see what they have here. First of all, their cover photo says it all. <laughs> you know, they have made all these logos. But if we go here, they have all kinds of different logos. From everything that looks sort of techy, like this, and when I say techie, you know, it kind of looks like this. But then they also have things like this with deer antlers. And they have this, which is more modern. And then they even have watercolor logos and things like that. So they have some logos over here on the side. She's got pre, or he or she has pre-made logo designs, add-ons, logo design watercolor logo design so let's click on that so they are selling all things logo design here and these are absolutely beautiful I love these this looks like something that I would totally make so I guess is what I'm trying to say here is that I know I've taught so many things you know fundamentals on how to start your own online business However, it is up to you to decide on how you want to 
use that information and start your own Etsy shop. So once again, if you did not see my video on how to niche down your Etsy shop, I will link it in the description below. Um, it's, or you, it's the video right below this one. If you click on my videos and scroll down, you can see that. And I really just think that if you take a moment, you know, in some quiet time and you just jot down a few ideas and then you stick with that. So if you have more than one idea that you're interested in doing, then I would open up a second Etsy shop for whatever niche. So like if you want to do logos and branding, okay, then you can do stick with that, become an expert in that. But then if you want to sell SVGs, you know, then you want to have a second Etsy shop for that. And it's really not complicated to um, keep up with more than one Etsy shop. At one time, I had three going. So I do not have any of them going now. I've been focusing on taking my experience, my research, and everything I have done and I am giving that information to you so that you can start your own online business. So I want you to stay tuned. My next video is going to be on how to market your Etsy shop and all the different ways that you can do that. Um, I probably won't be able to touch base on every single way in one single video. But please do stay tuned because my, that is what my next video is going to be about how to market your Etsy shop, okay? Also, once again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. You don't want to miss out on how to make money at home and online. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day.